the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The great thing about Christmas is that you know it's coming. Snow or scorcher, rain or sun, joy or sorrow, good times or bad, Christmas is coming. You can count on it. You can anticipate it, pray for it, look under the tree or in your stockings along the way, but no matter what happens, you know that come December 25th, Christmas is here. This is the season when Christians are often tempted to deplore the commercialization of the time, poo-poo traditions about jolly Saint Nick, anything else which might detract us and distract us from our Lord's precious birth. I have a slightly different view of that. No matter how much the world may try to talk about the Kwanzaaization of Christmas, or Ramadan, or Hanukkah, or seasons, greetings, or happy holidays, or whatever else you might want to call it, everyone still knows what December 25th is all about. It's about the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, born of the Virgin Mary, in the little town of Bethlehem, outside of Jerusalem, in the shadow of Mount Calvary. So when you and I look at all of the crazy stuff that seems to happen this month, presence, the politics, and the like, we can look at these things with a twinkle in the eye. Why? Because we know the story. The whole story. The real story. The story of how God became man so that man might become one with God. We know the story of how the infinite God came through the womb of a young girl named Mary. We know the story of the fall and the sin, the promise of the coming Savior. We know the story of the light that would shine in the darkness. We know the story of the manger and the cross. We know the story of Jesus' birth, of his holy death and resurrection. Even if the world and sometimes even our own families may want or try to make Christmas into something else, it doesn't matter. Because Jesus was born for you this day in the city of David. But there is even more to this great and wonderful story. For you see, Jesus Christ was born to you no matter what had happened, is happening, or will happen to you. For some of you, this was a year of joy. For others, a year of sorrow. It could have been a time of disappointment or glee. It may have been a year of pain or even death in your family. <coughs> You may be looking for another year and wondering what will happen, what shoe will drop, who is going to make it, what will happen next. I certainly don't know all the troubles of your heart. Guess what? Jesus Christ was born to you this day in the city of David. He is your Savior. He is Christ the Lord. What a message the angels bring to you this night. God has become man so that you might become one with God. And he gives it to you. In the Christmas carol we pray, he's born in us today. He has done that by water, word, and his spirit. Christ is born this day to you and he gives himself over to you. He came to die for your sins. This little babe of Bethlehem is the God-man who bears the cross for you and your sins. What a treasure this little child comes to bring us this night. Forgiveness of sins, defeat of Satan and death itself, and eternal life. Now that's a Christmas present. There are 
there are, dear friends, two kinds of anticipation. The first is when you know something is coming. The second is you know that something is coming, but you don't know when. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the babe of Bethlehem, promises yet another gift for you this night. He promises that you will be with him face to face. Maybe tonight, maybe next year, maybe 50 years or more from now. But someday, dearly baptized, someday the night won't be so silent anymore. Someday our Lord will return with all his holy angels. He will take us to heaven and there will be an eternal Christmas, an eternal time of holy joy with our Lord and Savior. And what a day that will be. So this Christmas tide, rejoice in the gifts that you receive from family and friends, maybe even from St. Nick. Rejoice and sing knowing that the one gift, Jesus Christ, has come to you this night. <coughs> Merry Christmas in Jesus' name. And now the peace of God passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in true faith to life everlasting. Amen. Amen.